Many Baldur's Gate 3 characters are my favorite. Harlack is my Barbie. <laughs> I, I mean Barbarian. Even the drama-prone Astarian, who my subscribers voted most likely to cause drama in a breakup. Have you ever wanted to make a spell that you could use to cast on your party? Like Karlak, but needed help figuring out how? This video is for you, and not for the job-killing goblins. I've been working on a play for 10 years. It's called The Great Adventure. It's about a goblin on... A great adventure. This is I'm a Dr. Nada, and I am all about teaching you all how to mod. Today I'm announcing the release of an upgraded polymath program, Polymath 2. This upgrade, available in Nexus Mods at the link in the video description, brings two significant features to the program. Automated production of custom abilities and spells, and automated production of custom action resource Points. Want to cast Fireball of Love on Karlak using love points? So hot that it burns even her heart. Let's do this right now. First, launch Polymath using the BAT file. After installing Python in the requisite packages as shown in one of my prior videos. Second, select the Create Custom Action Resource Points button, or CARPS for short. You'll see that Carlac has already visited our program, so love points are the default. Rename your carp however you want, giving it an in-game name and description, and defining how the player can replenish it in-game. Then click Create Carp, which saves your input and in tables in the data folder. Now click Return to Main Menu. Before then, a message from our goblin sponsors. Goblins like me have a rich history. Who could forget Goblin with an energy soul? Would Dirk and ride it on a drow? I took at the mana crystal for her laugh. Third, we'll make our spell Fireball of Love. Click the Create Custom Abilities slash Spells button. Well, Karlak didn't visit this widget because she is the ultimate breadwinner. Battling, industry killing, Activision Blizzard goblins on behalf of the FTC. We will honor her here. Name your spell Fireball of Love, giving it a fitting description like burns hotter than my infernal heart. Then select a template, which will be Fireball expedited using the search box. Search bars are essential because Lazelle may use this tool, who my subscribers voted most likely to get lost in a mall. The other fields will auto-populate, change the use cost to love points, and the spell success effect to apply status charmed. Then click create ability and spell and return to the main menu. After these brief messages, brown spitting ear ear to like my paintings. <laughs> they like the texture. Never gonna tell them, you just have to shoot some honest at the wall. <laughs> Fourth, we're gonna make a love field Barbie Barbarian using my class slash subclass bog generator showcast in the original release of polymath click create custom class slash subclass well this part of the tool should be familiar to my subscribers there are a few changes if this is your first time with the tool learn how to make a new class using my prior video which is in the video description and should be at the top of the screen name your class and subclass choosing a template of barbarian now let's see what's different Go to Abilities slash Spells. With Polymath 2, your custom spell will be listed at the very top of the spell box, with a search bar to help you find anything else that you might need. You can also give your class a custom action resource point that you made. So choose the LARP option, or Love Action Resource Point giving yourself four of them for the custom spell. Play around with the other tabs to further customize your class, and return to the General tab. Click Make Mod, and you're done! Load your mod into the game using Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager, as instructed by another one of my videos that's in the video description and at the top of the screen, and test it out. Be sure to let me know what you make in the video comments. Wait! Not the Activision Blizzard Goblins! With my profit margins, I finally got a Nautiloid. Then I got bored and ate the tentacles. 
a vernus came out when passing that dwarf rider that I ate. Now let's see how this works for the people who want to understand the process. The required steps pretty much follow exactly what we already did. When you click make carp or a custom spell, Polymath takes your entries and other necessary information, like less interesting spell data fields, and writes them to a text file for your class slash subclass widget, along with writing an Excel file that's a little bit easier for you all to interpret. These files are in the data folder and they have custom in their name. When you create a class mod with carps or custom spells that you made, Four things happen. First, for your carp to be available for your character, we make a file to hold it and the relevant references. Like putting a teeny tiny little pocket on Carlac's infernal heart so she remembers to keep track of her love points. Polymath copies the action resource definitions file from the template files into the matching location in your mod, giving it the name and timing of replenishment that you coded in the tool. It also pastes in a few IDs that make sure that it's properly linked with the in-game name and description that you linked it to, the handles, and ensures that it's enshrined in your game through the UUID. Second, it makes a custom file to hold Hold the custom spells that you made and now included. It takes and formats all their information, saved in those custom tables, writing it to your mod folder at the path shown on the screen, ensuring that you can add it to a spell list which is ultimately required for granting it to your character. Think of it like Gale going over a list of demands from his cat, including organizing his condo at Waterdeep. The edits are similar to my prior Pigpen Rogue subclass, covered in the video in the video description and at the top of the screen. Third, if you give your class carps with points, it adds them to the boost field in the progressions file, as shown. Fourth, it places the handles in the localization file for any custom action resource points or custom spells ensuring users see the in-game names and descriptions that you assign to them. And let me know what you came up with. Polymath 2 is here, and it's so ready for you all to play around with it. Want unlimited fireballs without eating bat guano and sulfur? This is the way to find lifelong fulfillment. Mixie from D&D One For All. Be sure to check it out at Nexus at the link in the video description. Have suggestions for software improvements? Let me know in the video comments here and I'll see what I can do. While I consider everyone's suggestions, I prioritize Patreon subscriber requests, so consider joining at the link on the video description. With this milestone in my tutorials, I have many suggestions for my next possible video and content, but I also want to hear from you on what you want now poll on my community tab and Patreon in the coming few days, so vote on what you'd like to see next, while liking and subscribing naturally. Thanks for watching, Starship out. Help us out. Says here the goblinoids are obstreperous and malodorous. What's that mate?